Good morning, Ellen. Good morning, Miss Fong. But what are you doing that I'm not? So much of the women are not sure the basic mechanic, how to tone their body, how to get that tone look. Right? Even though they think they're eating、mm-hmm. well, but can you walk? I mean, I know this is a video、uh, in general. Like, what do the ladies? I know, but but just、uh, since you have a、uh, whiteboard there,、uh, like. Three steps. That's the whiteboard. <laughs> like, what are they focusing、mm-hmm. on? Right, we did talk about body type and 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 you know the food, but just in general, what are these、right. women really?、Um, if they don't have time to、uh, take private lessons or get training, and just for them to take a look、right. at their、um, diet in general.、Right? Well, you know what? It's、um, it's a really good point, and in terms of. Past videos, we've already discussed. For example, that we said that there's three different body types. You got your ectomorph, endomorph, mesomorph, right?、Mm-hmm. We said one is too is very skinny; they have a hard time putting on muscle. The other type, the other type are like me. We get fat too quickly with muscle, but we got to lower the fat. And then there's the third type, which is always broad shoulders, small waist, and then whatever happens in between happens in between. But they、mm-hmm. tend to have that Superman, Supergirl kind of upper frame, right? Right. When it comes to、um, when it comes to toning, like you're, you're t- what you're talking about specifically is getting toned, like tight skin, yeah, like that. So it's、yeah. not loose. Yeah. There's one con- so one major common factor that we've always noticed, ninety nine percent of the time, and that's just based on your experience, our experience, right? So for ladies, all of you that are watching this, this is just based on what me and Helen keep going through on a regular basis. I can't speak for the world. Right. But I can speak based on the ladies that come to us. The num- I mean, Helen, you tell me. So you're telling all the ladies watching. What's the number one thing that all the ladies come to us and say they want to do? What? What's What's one of the biggest things? They want to get rid of the loose skin and and the flappiness. Right. Right. They want to get rid of loose skin and the flaps. Right. Right. You know, right. And bottom the arms. Right. Correct. Correct. So they're always trying to lose the skin or lose the flabbiness that they usually say is directly connected to body fat, right? So everybody's got like this 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 high body fat. Let's just say there's a chart, right? So this is the body fat, and they're they're saying my body fat is way too high. I want to try to do whatever I can to lower my body fat so it's here. It's like super low, and then they imagine looking like you. Right, which to some degree is true. However,、mm-hmm. there's the other part of the equation that isn't discussed. That I'm glad you asked because they need to know it. Yeah. Which is when the body fat is going down. There's another part here that needs to be looked at. And that other part we always talk about is Miss Phil. Miss Helen Fong, would you tell all the ladies, please? This represents the. Muscle. Oh, yeah. The they need muscle, to have muscle, muscle, muscle. muscles. That's right. The big thing is there's so、they、much. They need to have muscles, right? They, they have this the assumption. The muscles have to go. Yes. Ah, which yes. yeah, you're right. You're right. They've got the assumption, and you know what's really cool? Sometimes they're right、mm. in the sense that a lot of ladies don't want to look bulky. They don't want to look big. That's why they avoid lifting weights because they're going to start looking like a man. <laughs> If they're on steroids, true.、Mm. If they have a high body fat percentage, then to some degree that's true.、Mm-hmm. But for like ninety-five percent of the women we deal with, they need more muscle. Because, ladies, one thing to know at this age of forties and fifties, most females and males too. So it's, we're not exempt. Okay, us guys, we got to work on this too.、Mm-hmm. At that age group. Many, to I would argue, most people are under muscle. They're、mm. under muscle. So a lot of times we get those ladies that are like, "Yeah, I want this body fat to go down." And when I'm like, you know, when I weigh less, when I'm like 130 and I get down to 110, I'm gonna look fabulous. I'm gonna look like Helen Fong. Well, that's true. It's possible, but if the muscle percentage is not going up, then usually what happens is. A simple illustration, ladies. I'm going to show you with the demonstration of my trusty. 
This sucker right here. What is this? It's a paper towel. Yes, it's a paper towel. Now, why are you using this paper towel, Alan? What's up with the paper towel? Because it represents skin. Mm. So if somebody has loose skin, right? This, this could be an arm. This could be a leg. This could be one butt cheek. This could be two butt cheeks combined together that looks like one. Right? Mm. What usually ends up happening is when they say, oh my God, Alan, I want to lose the weight. I want to lose the weight. And they're so focused on losing the weight. Mm. Well, usually here's what happens. It ends up doing this. So the volume ends up getting smaller. Mm -hmm. But when they end up, when they, what they end up getting is the loose looking full of cracks. We define it as like cellulite in certain parts of the body type of skin. They can grab the skin. They can move it. Right? Mm -hmm. Well, if that's what happens, if this is what happens, then how do you fix that? Well, how you fix it is you go like this. As you're growing, as you're decreasing the, the muscle mass or the, the fat, you start increasing the muscle mass. So what ends up happening is that the skin ends up getting stretched to, to say to a degree. Mm. And what ends up happening over time is that the muscle underneath the skin pushes through. And so what you end up getting is like a much smoother, this is not very smooth, but you get the idea, <laughs> a smooth surface image mm -hmm. of the skin mm -hmm. because the muscle is being, or sorry, I keep saying muscle, muscle underneath ends up growing enough to pull the skin. And when yes. you have muscle that pulls the skin, that's what creates the younger, defined, more sexy type of image. Mm -hmm. And that's what's needed. In the end, conclusion, Body fat alone will not be enough. Body fat loss. You need body fat mus loss with muscle gain. You get that going simultaneously. Mm -hmm. That's why Helen Fong exists. And that's what we create here at Tone at 50. But you've got to have both. If you mm -hmm. don't have both, you'll see, I mean, look, you can have just one, but most women look fantastic in clothes. Mm -hmm. And if they just want to look good in their clothes, mm -hmm. that's probably enough. But if, you want, if you're talking about looking good in clothes, I will shut up right here. It's good enough. If you're talking about looking good naked, if you're talking about looking good in your two-piece bikini or in your one-piece, then you've got to have both. And here, we've now learned that whether you're in your 40s or 50s, whether you've been training for 20 years or you just started, mm -hmm. here, it's very possible. And we know how, and that's why you look the way you do because you're a living example of it, right? 49 <laughs> years old, never had a day in the gym in her life, never touched protein powder until we started working together, never knew about supplements until we got you on the competition stage and we focused on making you appear and feel and live younger. Mm. It's possible. Yes. Right? If a 49 year old lady who's never done it before can do it, why can't anybody else? Why can't they do it? You watching this video right now, Missy, whoever you are that's watching this video, why can't you? We think you can. You just got to know how. Thank you, Ellen.